I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas was written by John Roxon before my Gayla Peavy when she was 10 years old in 1953. Now, didn't you just love her on the Ed Sullivan show? <laughs> <laughs> Some people are messing up. <laughs> he is a child star from Ponca City. Am I saying that right? Oklahoma. When released nationally by Columbia Records, the, shot, the song shot to the top of the charts. Do you know that the local promoter picked up on the popularity of the song and her local roots and launched a campaign to present her with an actual hippopotamus for Christmas? Well, the campaign succeeded, and she was presented with an actual baby hippopotamus, which she donated to the city zoo. Now, I certainly cannot do Gayla PB justice, as I'm one of those mediocre singers at best. I was talking about before, but you guys have just got to hear the lyrics. This is just for one verse. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only hippopotamus will do. I don't want a dog, no dinky tinker toy. I want a hippopotamus to hug and to enjoy. And that's what she's saying. So that's the verse of that. 